Hey guys, Ryan here. So I just finished filming my 191 review for Walking Dead comic series. But as well, guys, today, Walking Dead Funko Pops were leaked. So we're going to get into it and discuss them. So for sure, guys, these were in GameStop system. These are for sure happening. I mean, I guess nothing is completely, like, confirmed until it's announced and stuff or whatever. It's not even confirmed when it is announced. But it's in their system. It should be announced soon, and they should be hitting stores soon, guys. So this is... This is happening. I'm excited, guys. It's been since how long? It's been how long? It's been over a year since we got our last wave. Since we got our last pop, it was like July. So, and then you hear see, here's Harry Potter, Game of Thrones. They're literally just spewing out waves here and there. Like Game of Thrones literally got their newest wave in November, and then they just came out with another one in March. So, in Walking Dead, it hasn't even gotten a new one since July. So it's been almost a year, guys, since we got an actual new pop for Game uh, for Walking Dead. So. The ones that are rumored are Daryl, so I'm assuming it'll be like Daryl, just season 9 Daryl, he'll either have his knives or his bandana thing, I don't know, just a, a new Daryl. We haven't actually gotten like a casual regular Daryl, cause, well I mean there's biker Daryl, so I guess that's it, but um, uh, the injured Daryl, that's different, prison Daryl, Daryl with the rocket launcher, you know, the black and white Daryl. So nothing too, you know, simple that really resembles his character. So I'm kind of excited to get this one. I'm hoping he'll have like the two knives. But um, then we also have Daryl's dog. Interesting choice. I mean, we could have gotten a different character, but I'm still glad. I mean, we're literally getting new Walking Dead pops. So I've literally been talking about this for I don't even know how many months. But yeah, so we're going to get that and then we're going to get a new Michonne, which I'm really excited for because we don't have a regular Michonne. We have this Michonne from season three and then we have this Michonne, which is a constable Michonne. And then this one will hopefully be the regular Michonne from season nine. I don't know if it'll be like the first part where she has the bead in her hair and like a full head or if it'll be like the second half where part of her head is shaved and she's wearing like Rick's shirt or something or Rick's jacket. I don't know. She does wear a lot of Rick's clothing, Rick's clothing this this. Um, back half of the season, so we'll see, you guys. But and then the last one is Alpha, guys. We are getting an Alpha one. So for Alpha, will it be Alpha Unmasked or Alpha Masked? I think it'll probably be Alpha Unmasked. But these are the four common ones that have been confirmed. There could be exclusives. I'm I'm sure there will be exclusives, guys. But another one that's rumored is a con exclusive beta. No, we need a beta. If we don't get a beta, then what's the point of even having an alpha, guys? I mean, seriously, come on. So, I'm sure they'll make beta. I, I'm i sure they will, guys. But I'm really, really excited for this because these are basically confirmed. I'm going to consider, I'm going to assume that they're confirmed because they have, they're they in systems. They're in GameStop system. Um. So, guys, it's finally happening. We're getting a new wave. I don't know how many it'll be. I don't know if it'll be just this four and the one con exclusive. I don't know if it'll be just this four, no con exclusive. I don't know if it'll be four of these are con exclusive and three other exclusives to Hot Topic and GameStop and FYE. I don't know. I really don't, guys, but I am just so excited because it's been so long, but I want to talk about the possibilities because there could be exclusives for this wave. I'm really positive that there will be exclusives. It's very rare for Funko to not make exclusives. So maybe there are like four exclusives and GameStop doesn't have any of them. And then they're going to like Barnes Noble, Box Launch, Hot Topic, FYE. And then those are going to be in their systems. I mean, we could be getting eight. We could just be getting four. We don't know, but we could, we should be getting a new Carol. I mean, we need a new Carol, guys. We need, there's so many Carols that they could make, but they could make a long one with a bow and arrow. They could make one with the short hair and her armor from season eight. They could make one from season six. Episode 2 it is. I'm trying to clarify this one because this one wasn't exactly a big part of the series. But um, where she's wearing the wolf thing and she has like the W on her forehead and the mask and the cloak thing. That'd be awesome. That'd be so cool if they made that. We need a new Negan. They can make like a prison Negan with the beard. I don't know. There's just so many they can make. They need, they need to make Judith. They need to make Tara, a new Jesus, an Aaron one. And I did see the other day actually guys a Ro um, a, an interview with Ross Marquand. Or he was saying, I really hope that they make an Aaron pop with the metal arm. Now, he would, I mean, and Funko uploaded that interview to their YouTube channel. So, I'm positive that they are going to make an Aaron pop. At some point, somehow, some way, they are going to make one. And I'm excited for that. We also need a Yumiko pop, a, um, a Magna one. There's so many. A Connie one. I don't really know about Luke or um, Ka a Kelly. I don't know. I don't think that they're big enough to have their own. But then again, they made Richard, so... 
guys, I mean, or a Henry one, a Morgan one with his armor. There's so many they can make. I literally have a list in my phone, like in my iPhone notes or whatever you call it, of every walking to Papa I've ever thought of that they could make. And none of them are even like ridiculous. Like they're just key points in the series that are really cool and it would be really awesome Fungo Pops that they could make. Also guys, one more thing I wanted to discuss is the Whisperer War, guys, because the Whisperer War is coming up in Season 10. We just finished the introduction of the Whisperers. They killed t 10 people. Now it's time for them to build up the war and then go to war. I'm sure Season 10 will be the build-up and then the war, but Season 10, guys, Angela Kang can do it. She better, guys. So they had a war at Hilltop in Issue 160, I believe it was. Issue 161, actually. Um, for the Whisper War in the comic book series. So I really hope that they have an awesome battle at the hilltop. I really hope that they do. I mean, Angela King is clearly a great writer, but what they need to do is just have, like, because this honestly would remind me so much of, like, the new episode of Game of Thrones, like, like the Battle of Winterfell. So the walker, the dead are climbing up the walls. The, they can literally have the Whisperers using their knives to climb up the walls and get inside and kill people. That would be so cool. And then they're just, like, shooting fire arrows, and it's just action-packed. They're literally shooting flaming arrows over the walls, the Whisperers. That's what they did in the comic series. They burn everything down. They almost killed Carl. They almost killed, like, they did kill a lot of people. But just imagine how awesome that would be. And then Lydia is fighting as well. She kills a bunch of Whisperers. It's just awesome. I, the, a Whisperer War is my favorite part in the comics. I know some people are a little conflicted on it, but it's my favorite part in the comics. I love that that volume. I read it all the time, just for fun. Like, I'll just be sitting there, and I'll be like, this is awesome. I want to read it. So, there's so much they can do. I'm really hoping that they do this. But Eugene, how smart is Eugene, guys? They literally could have arrows. And they could, you know how, like, in Marvel, I just watched Endgame. I watched the first Avengers, the second Avengers, and Infinity War before I went and saw Endgame. Endgame was awesome, guys. But anyways, so, you know how Hawkeye has those arrows that he, like, shoots and they explode? That would be so cool if they had that at Alexandria or wherever Eugene is. If he's just at the hilltop, that'd be cool if they used him. But where they take, like, they shoot them into the ground or wherever they want, and they explode the arrows. Like, wouldn't that be so cool? Like, that is some type, that's some Game of Thrones stuff right there. Like, that is awesome stuff to do. They need to do this in this show. I think there's something that there, I think there's so many things that they can do in the show where it's just like, holy crap, this is the best point in the show. This, this show is awesome. I mean, it obviously is, but if they did, were able to do that, I know their budget is very short or very small. All shows are. I mean, Every show has a small budget just because of the fact that it's literally, uh, you know, six to 16 episode season. I mean, look at the first season of Walking Dead. It was literally six episodes long, and now they're 16 episodes long. That budget is used up every episode. I mean, I don't know if they get a certain budget per episode or if they just have a certain budget for the entire season. Obviously, I hope that they conserve some of their budget and put it towards bigger episodes. Like, look at... Um, look at season four, episode eight. That was the best, like, that was an actual battle that they had. The governor versus Rick and them, the prison destroyed. It's literally an entire just episode. Like, the first ten minutes is, you know, just them doing whatever. And then all of a sudden the governor shows up. Rick goes down and for, like, five minutes negotiates. They cut off Herschel's head. And the rest of the episode is just full on massacring everyone. And people are dying and they're just destroying the prison. That is something that The Walking Dead can do. I don't know why they haven't done it in so long. I mean, season 7, the battle that they had, uh, the finale, that was an awesome battle. But it was only three and a half minutes. I think that since so many characters are, like, gone now, like, they don't have to pay Tara, they won't have to pay Rick, they don't have to pay Michonne at this point in the series because Michonne is going to be gone within the first half of the season. The Whisper War is going to be in the second half. So, if they are able to do this and pull off, like, you know, a bunch of, like, just explosions and zombies and every, like, just craziness. I think that this would be awesome for the show to do because they need to be able to have that like they did in season four where everyone is just, like, you know, like, jumping off their couches, screaming, going crazy. And pe by the time the episode is over, people are like, this is the best episode of the series. Now, I think that they can do that. I think Walking Dead could do that. I think Angela Kang is able to do that. I don't think that, uh... That they can go, you know, too crazy because obviously, as I just said, every show has a small budget. But this could be the best point in the series if they do it right. And I'm really hoping that they can. I think they can. I hope they will, guys. Leave your comments down below. What do you think they will do um, for the Whisperer War? I'm hoping that this will be good. I think Angela King can do it well. 
And I really hope that in the series, they don't just have, like, in the in the season 10 when they have all this, like, they bring the massive horde to Alexandria. It's basically no way out on steroids, as Movie Idol says all the time. But, um, I really hope that they have whispers among the dead. That would just be so cool. I don't know why that the whisper just wandered off. And then that's when Beta dies. They have an awesome death with Beta. And ho I really don't want them to do the thing where they have, you know, where he can't take his mask off. The, like, half mask. I just think that was, like, so stupid in the comics. Because he ended up only being, like, a basketball player or something. And then he got shot through the heart. That just was not as cool because, like... Like, a character like Beta should have a really awesome death. A character like Rick Grimes, where it's just a complete shocking twist. This was not a shocking twist. We expected Beta to die at this point. He could have had a really cool death. Um... Like, it just it wasn't shocking. It, it was just stupid. I mean, it wasn't a good death. So, um... I really hope that they have an awesome, awesome thing planned out. I think that... I really hope that they do. Like, I think that they can do a bit safe. I just really want them to. But yeah, so thanks for watching this video, guys. Leave down below. What new Walking Dead Punk Fungo Pops do you think they'll make as well? Do you think they'll make any more? Or do you think that these four will just be it? I really... I'm really confident they'll make a new Aaron Pop. They wouldn't have uploaded that interview. That would have just made no sense. And kind of rude, honestly, towards the actor of them to make an interview with him and ask him what kind of pop he wants and then not make it. I think that honestly would be kind of rude. And I think Funko would is going to make it. Maybe it's an exclusive with the metal arm. I, th I think that, that that'll be so cool, guys. Because this wave clearly is Season 9. It has Alpha and Daryl's dog. So this definitely is a Season 9 wave. And... Uh, Possibly a beta, guys. So this definitely is a more focused on the new season wave. Um, I think that's basically what they do as well. This is basically a season 7 wave, the newest wave that we got. And then Shiva was from season 8. So that's basically all we've gotten from season 8. But this is mostly a season 6 wave, except for Rosita. So, yeah, guys. Anyways, leave down below. Do you think that they'll be able to do this in the show? I think they'll be able to do it. Um... But yeah, as long as they conserve their budget, I think that it'll be awesome. But anyways, yeah, so thanks for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.